kernel for Exchange Server has a neat and user-friendly software console. Every component is smartly categorized to provide an effortless migration journey throughout the process. These five options on the menu bar, allow you can efficiently manage and control the software operations. Similarly the toolbar icons guide you to quickly jump to a particular function, and access it immediately. These three options get enabled, only when you've selected a folder or item for the operation. There are three ways to add source file. First, you can go to file menu and then select add source, which opens a new window to select the desired source type. Second, you can go to the toolbar and click add source icon to add the offline EDB file. Third, you can directly select the source type platform that you want to migrate. You can either select the browse option or search option to add an EDB file. Select search option in case you are not aware of the exact location of the EDB file. Then select a folder or drive wherein you want to perform the search. All EDB files are listed down from the selected search volume. Select the one that you want to migrate. Similarly you can also add the STM file for the migration and click next to proceed. These two scan options are provided to repair corrupt or inaccessible EDB file. It is recommended to select the standard mode for the recovery, if you don't know your intensity of damage occurred to the file. Once the file is successfully added, click finish. It will then scan and show all the mailboxes present in the selected EDB file. Select the mailbox that you want to view. The tool then scans and lists all the mailbox items for the preview. The red highlighted items are deleted items that are recovered during the scan. You can sort your viewing preference based on the sender's name, attachments availability, status of the item type etc. In order to search the specific items or emails, you need to first select the folder wherein you want to perform the search. It pops up a search window containing multiple tabs, like general, mail properties, date, and attachments, for the search operation. You can enter the desired keyword and execute the search operation. You can also stop the search in between, and then clear the search fields. You can also perform a search based on attachment name, type etc. Once the desired items are listed, then you can select and export them directly in the desired saving format. Right click the desired mailbox to export it to PST file. You can select and deselect the folders that you want to migrate. Also, you can set filters based on the item types, and add one accordingly, date range, by defining the range, etc. Select the Browse option to provide destination path where you want to save the PST file. You can even create a new folder right away. Specify your splitting criteria in the box here. You can also create a Unicode PST here. After that use the Export option to start the exporting process. Now mailboxes are being exported as specified. After the exporting process is completed it will provide the relevant details here. Click OK to exit. And then you can close the export mailbox window as well. You can now view the exported PST at your specified location. It can now be accessed using your Outlook program. Just like adding source file, there are three ways to add your destination. 1. Go to File menu and select Add Destination to add EDB file. 2. Click Add Destination icon on the toolbar to select your destination type. 3. From these destination icons, select PST file as your destination type. You can either create a new PST file, or simply use an existing PST file as your destination type. When using an existing PST file, Browse the location of the PST file and select to add it in the software console. Once it is successfully added, click finish to preview it. Select the desired folder to open and view the contained items. 
The tool also displays the item count of the folder items. Select the item that you want to preview, using preview button. Expand its width accordingly. You can also open the attachments to preview them in their respective format. Right click the destination panel to add new PST file as your destination. Provide the location where you want to restore the PST file. The new PST file is added, which is empty and has zero item count. You can select and copy the messages from source mailbox and paste them in the destination folder of PST file. The desired items are successfully pasted in the PST file folder while maintaining original hierarchy. You can also use the drag and drop option to copy and paste the desired messages immediately. You can also use import file option to add MSG or EML file items into the PST folder. The imported items are successfully reflected in the destination folder. To close the destination file, right click on its root file and select close destination. Check mark the file that you want to close.